it's Tango and Sue, and today I wanna teach you how to do something I'm calling the opal effect. I'm about halfway through this piece, but I've started documenting it so that you guys can really see from start to end how I created this effect, all right? So what I want you to do is think about the color that you want to be your main color. When you walk in and see your piece, what's that color gonna be? For me, I'm using Debbie's Design Diary, and I'm using Mermaid Tail. It's kind of a blue aqua color. So here's the thing, in order to create this effect, what I'm doing is I'm going to the opposite side of the color wheel, and I'm choosing reds and purple and gold and orange and all those colors that are on the opposite side of turquoise, and I'm putting those colors on first, and I'm going crazy. You go crazy. Have you wanted to try painting a flower? Paint a flower. Have you wanted to try zigzag or splashing paint or doing some kind of Jackson Pollock craziness? Do it. Cover your whole piece with all of those colors. This is a chance to really have some fun. Let that dry overnight. Now, come back with your top coat. I'm gonna mix a few colors, but I'm basically using mermaid tail. The first thing I want you to do is spray down your area. Get it just a little wet, not drippy wet, just a little bit wet. Brush on, pounce on, or roll on, whatever you wanna do, but we wanna spread that paint out really thin so it's very translucent. And then put it on, like the whole piece, just like a wash. Mush it around, try not to get too many brush strokes, use your roller to push it out, add a little more water where you need it, and let it dry. Now, go back and say, ha, huh, that looks kind of interesting, except when you're using chalk-based paint, this isn't what it's gonna look like. Spritz it with a little water so you can see what it'll look like with the top coat on. And I'm guessing you're gonna to wanna to do your layer one more time. I do. So I'm gonna let it dry again, just a few hours, and then I'm gonna go back and do another wash, heavier in some places, lighter in some places. I might uh, use different brush effects. I might roll it out, but the idea is you're not putting on so much that you're completely making that under layer disappear. You're letting it peek through just a little bit. Once you get it exactly how you want it, spray it down with water, take a final look to make sure you love it, let it dry, put your top coat on, and you are done. It's that easy, it's that fun. Now, I'm personally gonna take it a step further because I'm Tango with Sue, and that's what I do. So I may pull back a little around the edges, I'm gonna add some metallics, I'm gonna have some fun with this. But for the sake of just getting the opal effect, you can then seal it with either a wax, or you can use Big Top, or any other kind of acrylic top coat sealer, but you will need to put a sealer on top. Anyway, the fun part is it'll be beautiful, it's gonna be rich, it's gonna have depth, and most importantly, all your friends are gonna go, how did you do 